Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you a super quick way to paint a cute mouse which would be ideal to use for a Christmas card or even as a gift for somebody. I've got a piece of watercolour paper here which is about 7 by 10 inches and I'm just going to do a quick sketch. This mouse can be adorned with holly or pine cones or whatever you like to make it more Christmassy. Basically I like to start with the feet when I'm drawing animals and birds. I don't know why, it just kind of gives them something to stand on, I suppose. I'm planning on having my sketches available as downloads on my website soon, as soon as we can get round to doing it. They'll be for free, no charge, and then you can, because some people, and I always used to, I used to find it very difficult to, to draw, and in fact when I started learning to paint I traced most of my designs, copied a lot of other people's work and that's how we learn isn't it? How else would we learn? Sorry if I go a bit silent sometimes, you have to concentrate. The ears of a mouse like this are big, you know, like Mickey Mouse and everything, so you want to emphasise that. And like I say, don't be afraid to rub things out. And the eyes on a mouse are high up large and round to the side really a little bit. And then I usually try to see a triangle between the eyes and the nose. For positioning. Little pink nose mouse has. And most animals have a kind of lip like that. Yeah, something like that. I think maybe his arms are a bit short, so I'm going to put them a little bit lower. And shoulder a little bit more there. He should be holding something really, shouldn't he? Should we give him an acorn? Yeah. 
Okay. And like I said, you might want to put a few pieces of holly, perhaps, if it's going to be a Christmas card. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to put his eye in first. This is a size that's too big, that's a seven. Size five. And then we need black. I always start with the eyes because somehow it gives him a little bit of character and you can go from there. And I might just put a little indication of his nose. There we go. And this is permanent rose and a little bit of yellow. So the inside of his ear, is that what it is? Okay, so burnt sienna. A little bit of cobalt blue shadow. Leave a little bit of white around his mouth. This is the undercoat. The tummy of a mouse tends to be a little bit white, creamy. That's violet or purple with a touch of cobalt blue. Just draw that down into the feet. Maybe go in there with a bit more pink. Tail on the pink side. Clean brush, just with water. Soften the edges. And then the back of the mouse is going to be darker. That's sepia. pink fingers
lige ikonen. Så. I'll give him a bit of the background. Cobalt blue again. It's my favourite blue, I think. Seems to go with every other colour on my palette. Seems to spread well, or at least in a way that I like. to stand on let's make a little bit of shadow here a little bit of purple violet Go back to a smaller brush for the poly. I'm going to use a premixed green. This is olive green. And I like to mix olive green with quinacridone gold. As I always say, I'm not one for staying within the lines. My lines are just there to give me a rough guide. Okay, and then the berries. A nice thick thick uh, mix and cadmium cadmium is good because it does have a kind of solidity about it it's not opaque I and mean, it's not transparent it's opaque it shouldn't be running quite as much as that so we'll just lift some of that out I think that's better same there Grab a piece of uh, stick to put the veins in the body. And then I'm going to put a little bit more Shadow inside his ears and his nose, and then on his face, and this sort of grayed down burnt sienna, grayed with cobalt blue, just to give a bit of shape.
This is a watercolour pencil. It runs. Now I'm going to have to wait for it to dry a little bit before I can um, put the whiskers and everything on because if I put them on now they'll run. So. Definitely need <clears throat> definitely need to let it dry now. And a uh, nice seasonal touch is to do a bit of a sprinkle. Fantastic toothbrush for doing this with. Snow. Instant snow. Actually, prefer this brush. Nice to build up. It's quite nice to build up some texture in the sky. Yeah. 
Now we will leave it to dry. So there we are, the seasonal mouse is all finished, complete with his seasonal acorn and a little bit of holly and pine, including a little bit of blue and white spatter to indicate snow. Give it a go. I'm sure you'll be pleased. If you enjoyed this video, please press like and subscribe for more similar videos in the future. And Merry Christmas.